Hello, College of Health and Human Science graduates. It's my deepest pleasure to congratulate you, our class of 2020. You've worked hard, you've made sacrifices, you've persevered, you've hopefully had some fun along the way while learning, and you've adapted to challenges thrown at you by a crisis pandemic. And here you are, graduating. You did it. Let that sink in. You did it. With the commitment to equity and inclusion, the College of Health and Human Sciences is focused on improving the health, education, and well-being of people, their environments, and the communities in which they live. You have prepared yourselves for careers in nutrition and physical health, education, mental and behavioral health, design, merchandising, and construction. In all of your courses and working with faculty and your fellow students, you've been pushed to think, to create, to innovate, and to consider the potential impact that you can make in your work and in your lives. Along the way, you've also learned many critical life skills, the most important of which is to be resilient. And this would have happened in any scenario as you went through your undergraduate experience, but it is especially true in the way in which you have finished strong in a most unusual and a most challenging year. And in the midst of a global pandemic, you found the courage, the tenacity, the strength, the connection, and meaning. In other words, the secret sauce that enabled you to complete your degree. A famous researcher, Ann Maston, at the University of Minnesota has written much about resilience and what ingredients lead to resilience in an effort to uncover what that secret sauce is. She talks about things like social connections, family support, mentors, teachers, tenacity, grit, a sense of belonging, and a commitment to finding meaning. She talks about these ideas as part of the ordinary magic in our lives. In other words, the everyday supports that help us negotiate, challenge, and to be successful. But I can't help but think that today we are celebrating something extraordinary, something profound. You found a way to master not only the content of your discipline, but to engage in a much deeper mastery of resilience in pursuit of your goals. Not in an ordinary situation, in an extraordinary one, and that is true magic. I could not be more proud of any group of graduates from the College of Health and Human Sciences. Class of 2020, you've rocked it. So on behalf of the faculty and staff in our college, we congratulate you. We're so proud of you and we look forward to the impact you'll have in working to make our world a better place. As you go out into the world, please know that we will always be here for you. We are your Ramily. So please keep in touch and let us know about your successes and triumphs. We'll be celebrating with pride the extraordinary magic that you bring to our world. Well done, graduates. This is your moment. Seize it. Congratulations and go Rams. I remember standing as an incoming freshman at orientation, hearing the words, Rams take care of Rams. Not going to lie, at the time, I thought it was one of those catchy phrases used to help convey the collegiate spirit. There was no way at the time, with my campus map in hand and those nervous orientation jitters, that I ever could have foreseen how truly those words have defined my experience here at CSU. Rams take care of Rams. Not just in moments of difficulty, not just in moments of triumph, but in every moment every day. I've seen this action of Rams taking care of Rams and my fellow marching band members when we would all share hand warmers on those super chilly November games. I've seen this action of Rams taking care of Rams and my fellow design classmates when we would strategize how to install one of those particularly difficult zippers. I've seen this action of Rams taking care of Rams from the faculty, the administration, and the staff here at CSU when they would show up smiling to our first freshman 8 a.m. class, and they would have that same smile when we told them that we got our dream job years later. I've seen this action of Rams taking care of Rams in the basketball games, when the team would win and we would all jump into that proud to be chant. And when the team lost, and we would all jump into the proud to be chant nonetheless, just as loud, if not louder, than when we won. I've seen this action of Rams taking care of Rams from a complete stranger who saw me near tears on a bench. 
and didn't think to ask why I was almost crying. Didn't think to care that we had never met. Didn't even worry that there was no one around to see their act of kindness. No, all that person cared about was caring for me, for a stranger, for a fellow Ram. For Rams taking care of Rams is shown by what we do together in the moments of defeat and difficulty. And it is also shown in how we celebrate and lift each other up in the great ones too. And today, my fellow Rams, is a great one. While we won't be on campus together anymore, walking around, we will still always be fellow Rams. We will still be united by green and gold, and we will still care just as much for each other. Today is a celebration of years of friendship and support. And it is a celebration of a lifetime to come of that same celebration and support. We go forward together as Rams, and we will continue something that has defined our CSU experience here. Rams take care of Rams. Congratulations, everyone. With the recommendations of the faculty of Colorado State University, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System and the State of Colorado, I hereby confer upon each of you your degree as appropriate with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations, all. I cannot wait to see where your journeys take you. Congratulations to the graduates in construction management. My name is Paul Goodrum, and I'm professor and department head of CM. First, on behalf of all the faculty and staff, we are so very proud of all of your accomplishments and frankly your grit that you've shown over the course of your studies. You are exactly what this construction industry needs right now. You will be the generation that helps rebuild economic prosperity in the coming years. You will be the generation that helps rebuild our nation's infrastructure system to once again makes it the envy of the world. And you will be the generation that once and for all breaks the barrier to diversity in our industry and in building one of the strongest workforces this world has ever seen. You are ram built, you are smart, and you are dynamic. Congratulations and best of luck.
Hello 2020 Design and Merchandising graduates. On behalf of the entire faculty and staff in the department, I want to congratulate you on this tremendous accomplishment. We have enjoyed witnessing your many achievements and successes during your time here at Colorado State University, and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations. Go Rams!
Congratulations. My name is Dr. Ann Siebald, and I'm one of the co-directors for the Center for Educator Preparation within the School of Education. And I'm Dr. Dawn Millette, an associate professor in the School of Education, and I coordinate the Family and Consumer Sciences program. On behalf of all of our faculty within the Center for Educator Preparation, which expands a variety of places all across campus, congratulations. We are so proud of you. You've done it. I know this semester probably hasn't ended the way that you had hoped it would have. You wanted to walk across a big stage with your family cheering you on, but we all are cheering you on. We know that this semester or this last year has really tested your flexibility and your stick with itness. And we are all absolutely thrilled for you that you are at this point. We know you're going to go places and make the CSU impact. So, all the places you will go. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Thank you, Dr. Seuss. Congratulations. 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 Graduates, on behalf of the Department of Food Science and Human Nutrition, I want to congratulate you on graduating from Colorado State University. It's been an honor having you in the department. Uh, my hope for you is that you can all find your passion and go out and make a difference in this world. So again, uh, from the bottom of our hearts, congratulations. Go Rams!
Hi, this is Barry Braun, Department Head in Health and Exercise Science. I want to congratulate all of the 2020 graduates. When people ask you how you got through the COVID pandemic, you can say that you didn't just get through it, you worked really hard and you finished your undergraduate degree in a difficult major at a great university. Uh, take those skills moving forward, the ability to respond to a difficult situation with compassion and strength and grace and adaptability. Um, take on big challenges, knowing that you've done it before. On behalf of all of the faculty and staff in the Department of Health and Exercise Science, congratulations, RAM alumni.
Congratulations, graduates of 2020. I'm Dr. Julie Braungart Rieker, Department Head of Human Development and Family Studies. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students, I want to convey how proud I am of your accomplishments. This year has been one of the most challenging years we have ever faced. Yet despite this, you have persevered. You have shown grit, grace, humor, and compassion. In the years to come, you can take these challenging experiences as evidence that you have the ability to do whatever you put your mind to. I have all the confidence and excitement to see what you end up doing next to help change this world. Go Rams!
Congratulations, 2020 graduates of the School of Social Work. You have demonstrated remarkable resilience by completing your degree in the face of so much adversity, almost biblical in magnitude, a pandemic, fires, political unrest, and not the least, a markedly different learning environment at CSU. You've accomplished much that is admirable and gives us hope for a brighter future. Here's to your fortitude, your professional skills, and the wisdom and insights that will serve you well as change agents for a more just society. Blessings be.